This is Sergeant Sarah Ashton Cirillo of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, and you're watching Episode 7 of Russia Hates the Truth, a program focused on countering Russian propaganda, disinformation, and lies, and most importantly, on bringing you the truth about Ukraine's war for liberty and liberation, direct from Kyiv. We begin with the former Russian Federation president and current deputy of the country's influential Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev. Medvedev, who also performs part-time as the Kremlin's court jester, is known for making headlines with absurdist and occasionally incomprehensible threats towards Ukraine and its allies. Yesterday, after Russian government channels reported that the armed forces of Ukraine allegedly utilized cluster munitions against invading troops in the illegally and temporarily occupied Tokmak, Medvedev chimed in with this statement. Quote, so it's time to uncover our arsenals of this inhumane weapon. The completely crazy West could not come up with anything else. He then added the chef's kiss. It's a dead end. World War III is getting closer. This isn't the first time Medvedev has threatened nuclear apocalypse or World War III. Russia hates the truth that even when it's their ex-president speaking, no one in Ukraine or among its allies is concerned by these empty, hollow threats. Moscow is already using weapons of every kind in their continuous terrorism against Ukrainian civilians. As for the most inhumane Russian tool, a nuclear strike, both the civilian government of Ukraine and the Armed Forces Military Command have made clear it won't give in to nuclear blackmail. What Dmitry Medvedev, Vlad Putin, and all the rest of these criminals need to learn is that the simplest way to avoid any escalation of war is to withdraw all invading troops back to Russia. Next, we move to the leader of the Russian Duma, Speaker Vyacheslav Volodin, who informed the world of his country's intent to display Western weapons systems allegedly destroyed by Russia during its war with Ukraine in front of the different embassies across Moscow. Ukraine has already displayed Russian tanks and other armor in the center of Kyiv for more than a year. Furthermore, there are significant questions as to how much of these systems Russia is in control of and whether or not they have the logistical capabilities to bring back anything from the front, considering how they leave their wounded soldiers behind and their dead ones left to rot away in fields and dumped in mass graves. Russia hates the truth that their entire history is based upon theft of ideas and culture and that instead of Duma members trying to institutionalize temper tantrums on the streets of Moscow, they should spend their time figuring out how to take care of their troops. Russia Hates the Truth is produced by the Territorial Defense Media Studios under the command of Colonel Alexei Dmitry Skivsky. Visit our English and Ukrainian YouTube channels to watch all of our exclusive content direct from the front lines of Ukraine's war for liberty and liberation. Slava Ukraini!